All right, welcome back to another episode of DB Daily's vlog. And today we're flying back to the project series that we have going between myself, first of all, with the Mark One Caddy, and also Paolo Roach with his Subaru. So we're going to revisit Caddy today and see how we're getting on with it. So as we can see, from the last time that we had the video, as you can check out at the end of the video, we'll have a link at the end uh, for the video of the first series of this. The engine's in, she's running, starts, and well, it could drive, but at the moment it's not driving. So as you can see, the R32 is now inside the caddy, everything's buttoned up on it, everything's working and she's running and possibly driving, just hasn't got her on her wheels yet. Uh, again, I'd like to say a massive thanks to everybody that made this project happen and the biggest shout out of all is to Eurowise Performance over in the States. Couldn't have done this project without the guys over there. Mike and his team, phenomenal help on everything from the engine mounts to the reinforcing brackets to the rads to the intakes to the exhaust manifold, everything. Unbelievable service, unbelievable quality of goods. And this is what makes this car, hopefully, what I hope to be as good as it can be. Uh, again, can't uh, rate the lads enough. Everything that they have, everything that they do is unbelievable. But the main thing is, is this big block is in, and she's in, and she's starting, and, and uh, hopefully driving now soon enough. So it's great to see it in, finally, thank God, goodness. And now we're going to have a little look around uh, the car itself. All right, so taking you up from this angle. So we have the, obviously the block is back in and as you can see, there is not much room for error when it comes to pinch points here in the front between the rad and the intake. Unbelievably hard to get this thing in, uh, the intake in, but look, it's in. Then obviously with all these builds, everything looks simple until it's not simple. And then even little small things like having to upgrade the shifters and stuff like that, because obviously the tower that's on the original O2J one was impeaching on the uh, expansion tank that's here. This just has to be uh, cinched up now with the block itself and will be sorted and then we're getting our new intake and then thanks to MCG as you might have seen on my Instagram uh, we have our new RAM air filter as well so we'll probably go with something around the lines of that a nice little tame 90 I know some lads were saying tuck it in here and whatever but I think this is kind of the best option that we have at the moment nice and simple nice and clean option as well and it covers up some of this little wearing area that we have here our only issue that we have is we're going to have to move our brake reservoir into the back unless I can get myself like the early edition mark one which is a lot kind of uh, shorter on this side again just going around so as we've seen from the, uh, the last time we have all the bay now I'm not a paint man but we have the whole bay painted all the strut towers everything was all seam welded uh, I had to go buy my new welder <laughs> that we have in the rear here and I had to get one of the, my mates to show me how to use it properly but it's my car it's my project and it's done the way as best as I can do it and look I'm not saying that's the best way but it's the way I was able to do it and I'm happy with the end result and I think that a lot of people should try their best to do their cars themselves um, obviously you know, sometimes you have to go elsewhere but it, it is great to, to get your hands on with your own motor and try new skills and things you've never done before so as I said the top mounts are, are ever all the mounts are all seam welded the bay is all lovely uh, new paint then the likes of the heat shielding and all you might be able to see it in the back in here all the gold heat shielding taping as well just get some of that heat away from the cab uh, so I'm not going to burn up in there um, again then stony racing for the likes of the fans were fantastic and the mission motor fan controllers and stuff as well uh, from group D so as much as I can as possible with the project I've tried to shop local the likes of the heat shrink the likes of the exhaust wraps uh, the, anything I could was all from uh, local suppliers as much as I could before I did the video I obviously had to throw the wings back on and the grill and bumper back on because it just makes it look a bit more like a car it was sitting in the garage here for a long time as you might have seen from the last video and it was just kind of going nowhere but once you start putting some of these panels back on it gets you a little bit more fate so we're going to jump from the engine we're going to jump into the interior and then uh, see what we've done there all right guys, so as you can see, massive, massive uh, amount of work after going on in the interior in the Mark 1, uh, which is great, thank goodness. Uh, starting to actually, as I just said, looking like a car again. Not to worry guys, these are the old seats that I had that came from an Escort. Uh, they were in the Caddy originally when the a valve engine was in it and uh, they're going out now, they're going to be gone. There's new, beautiful seats coming and uh, just stay tuned for those. Uh, just a big, massive shout out again, guys here. 
anyone that's doing a Mark 1 or a Mark 1 Caddy is retro retrims. So Chris over retro retrims. I got me new B pillars, me bulkhead and the new headliner kit from retro retrims. I wanted to give it a shot myself again. It's my car, it's my project. I wanted to give it a go. And I don't know if you can see that well, but I gave it a good shot. I gave it my best slash and I think it came out fairly well. I never had B pillar trims and stuff like that before. So it's great to have them now in the car as well. The kit's very, very good. Uh, everything is in it. Everything you want could possibly be there. It's all there. Uh, and uh, customer service again from Chris and, and his team was unreal. Uh, fantastic. Uh, then just going around looking at other little bits. Have our battery and the casing in from Ed Sport Rally Supplies based in Wexford. Uh, then the seat bases again. All uh, new seat bases all bought for new seats. And then all our gauges and mounts and all are all ready to go as well. And they're all school gear shifters. So I obviously took the Mark 5 ones off. Um, and just made her back kind of look a bit more kind of stock inside. I don't want it to look like super racy or that there's mental madness going on underneath the bonnet. So I want to kind of keep it kind of plain on the inside. And then the seats will be the nice little bit of pop. And then um, obviously the engine itself then will be the big one. Uh, just on that as well, obviously the original steering wheel as kind of nice as it looks in there and it's kind of grown on me more and more she's not staying there anyone who knows this car the last time it was on the kind of show scene as such uh, would have noticed i had a grip royal uh, from the us the walnut jack so she'll be going back in there uh, with a quick release on it as well and um, yeah, so basically that's uh, pretty much most of the interior. Everything looking back, just nice and stock, nice and clean, not an overly fancy, nice and black. And then the new seats will add the little pop that I want to add to this and put getting rid of the uh, escort seats there as well. And yeah, so she should be looking lovely. So, so guys, just another small one uh, as well. I wanted to show, if you're following my Instagram and you're following the bits and bobs on my page, is the air I build that I have for the caddy. Talk to a lot of people about this and a, a lot of air, I know like a lot of manufacturers probably not going to agree with me now, but air can be very expensive for a lot of people and people who can't afford it. So this is the, the <laughs> I know it's going to sound mad, the AliExpress Air Ride Manifold and all the fittings, all the lines, everything, all the controllers. Now it is only, uh, it's going to be these kind of retro style switches that I have here, as you can see there. Um, yeah, so all these all came from... Uh, AliExpress and then our new gauge as well that's inlaid. I think it was Trevor from one of the Mark 1 pages on Facebook uh, hooked me up with this gauge. Uh, so she'll be running the air as well and they're all, oh sorry, he's hooked me up with this round and then the gauge itself then as well as another AliExpress. And it's just, the only reason I'm doing it guys is just to show that air I doesn't have to be mentally expensive for everybody and it can be affordable uh, on a budget. And look, so far, look, this thing might blow up as soon as I go down the road, but We'll see how it goes and hopefully it'll work out for me uh, and just stay tuned and we'll find out more. But uh, yeah, so far the manifold, we have it in here with the bulkhead fittings and all ready to go. And I've tested the rear bags, but at the moment I'm having a small issue with the front. I just need to get a triple bellows in to give me a little bit more travel uh, with the lower sump that we have on the R32. But yeah, all going to plan. So this is probably the stage that anybody really cares about is the actual startup. So we just have our fuel pump down here on a switch and our fan just to isolate them from the rest of the system. But this is the main thing that everyone's waiting for with this R32. And I'm sure everyone will agree it sounds absolutely amazing. First turn of the key. So we've had a little look around, we've had a look at the engine in around the bay a small bit, we had a look around the interior and obviously we heard this lion roar. Uh, so for me, VW Dunner, so I'll have my Instagram tag down here, Doc, he'll put it in for me afterwards. Uh, from DB Daily's is the club itself, I just want to say thanks very much for looking at the vlog 
and as well as that just make sure you like subscribe and if you want to see anything else on our channel just hit that comment down below and let us know what's going on and what you'd like to see or if you want to see more of this or you want to see more projects or more of kind of like the car the car interviews just let us know and as well make sure to hit up the db daily's website so www.dbdailies.com for all of our merchandise including our day-to-day t-shirts with the blank backs uh, our, the likes of our new uh, caps that we have everything as well then from snoods hoodies everything it's all online guys so head over there to the shop and have a look and any bit of support even if you only buy a sticker it's driving us forward to be able to run events for you guys and to keep the whole thing going on the road I uh, just want to say thank you very much to everybody that's helped me out with this and especially your eyes again as I mentioned them and I just want to say good luck stay safe and see you in the next one.